guys it's your boy the boxing lowdown and i'm back here with another video now as always people don't forget to like share and subscribe feel free to drop a comment if you like and i'll happily get back to you now what's going to happen with conor ben man um it's been a bit of a crazy journey over the last year or so for him to say the least right uh let's talk about it so what we know recently the uk anti-doping charged ben and he was provisionally suspended but that was lifted you know after a hearing from the national anti-doping panel uh, prompting Conor Ben and you know those around him to say that he had been cleared. Uh, Conor Ben has of course maintained his innocence throughout this period of the, the the failed drugs test. But what we know as of last week, UCAD and the British Boxing Board of Control. Obviously, the British Boxing Board of Control are the body that oversees fighting um, in the UK. Uh, they filed an appeal against this decision to lift Ben's suspension. So the board said in a statement that they stretch its prerogative to push back against the panel's verdict. So they still believe that there is wrongdoing. They still believe that Conor Ben is guilty of this and they're willing to appeal. It's not often they appeal these situations, but they are in this instance. So yeah, there's still a lot going on in the background here. It's not all clear and finalized as they'd like you to believe. Uh, Conor Ben still has some questions to answer. So let's see what happens here. But Eddie Hearn, in a recent interview, you know, Eddie Hearn, he came out and he said that he would like Conor Ben to fight in September. Now, September makes it how long? Over a year since he's been out of the ring, for sure. Um, yeah, it's been well over, been over a year for for sure. I'm not sure of the dates as to when Conor Ben was last in the ring, but it feels like ages ago. It actually feels like a, a real long time I was last saw Conor Ben in the ring. But they're aiming to put him out there for September. How that works, I'm not sure. You know, will he be able to fight on these shores? Um, we'll see. It was actually April that Conor Ben was last in the ring. April of 2022. So September, yeah, he is activity as a 26-year-old fighter to be out of the ring for that long. Uh, yeah, not very good for his development in his career at all. And it's, you know, it's a shame because he was making waves at well to wait. He was starting to make a name for himself. Obviously, he's got the name already. But in terms of him becoming a contender at that weight, we know how good well to wait is. Then he started entertaining this fight against Chris Eubank Jr. moving up in weight, which seemed ridiculous at the time. Um, yeah, Eubank Jr. has got his own troubles to deal with now. He's got Liam Smith next weekend, so he's got that big task ahead of him. So he's not even looking at Conor Ben right now. Who's a realistic opponent for Conor Ben to face? Like, who's out there that he could fight? We know that him and Kell Brook have had a few words over the internet. They actually had a few words in person as well. They did a little shove which uh, at a boxing show recently. So yeah, them two have definitely got a lot to talk about. Kell Brook has entertained the possibility of coming back into boxing. So that could happen. You never know. Uh, I'm not saying that I'd want to see it, but it's something that could happen. Uh, Josh Taylor is looking to move up from 140 to 147. Could he face Conor Ben in his first fight at welterweight? Uh, could be interesting. That could captivate the public, that fight. You never know. Um, Josh Taylor might be looking for an opponent. Uh, Conor Ben is high profile in the UK. And uh, I guess it makes sense money-wise, but in terms of their next steps for both men, is that the right fight? Conor Ben being out of the ring for so long. Josh Taylor, his first fight at welterweight. Does that make sense to happen now? We'll see. But yeah, wherever you go at well to wait from this point on, people are going to be looking at your opponent and um, it's not going to be easy. So I'm very curious to see what direction he goes in, what Eddie Hearn and Matrim Boxing do. But yeah, this whole situation is still lurking in the background. It's not over yet. You know, UCAD and the British Boxing Board of Control both filing an appeal on, on this decision. So they believe that there is still some wrongdoing and they're happy to take it further. So let's see what happens there. But if Conor Ben is able to fight in September, who would you like to see it against? Because like I said, Weight has got a plethora of contenders there and um, he's going to be judged with his, his opponents that he takes on from now on. So let me know your thoughts about it in the comment section below, guys. And uh, curious to get your opinions on this. Do you think Conor Ben is guilty or not? Let me know and I'll catch you all on the next video.